Happy Rails to you. Welcome back, my friends. Happy Rails to you. It's good to see you again. Thanks for watching the channel and the videos. Sometimes they go real fast and sometimes they're slow. Happy Rails to you. Thanks for watching. Well, hello there, guys. Kind of snuck up on me. Ah. Uh, but you thought you caught me napping, didn't you? Well, I'm working on another project. <clears throat> um, I had this Mark's Tower come in today and uh, it was just filthy uh, guy sent it to me and um, it's got a wire loose. We'll try to repair that. <clears throat> Should be a pretty simple fix. Uh, just put it back to the back of the light here and solder it, hopefully in the right place. Um, but all the stanchions and the framework of the derrick um, or tower itself is good. Uh, the head's the ladder. And uh, I'm really amazed because usually these are, this is all busted up up in here. One of these is missing or shot. And uh, you'd have pieces broke or cracked, missing in the framework itself. And then down here at the bottom, and as you can see, I've been doing some repair. Um, this pieces that are white now are the ones I've been uh, sitting here building. And um, all this section here, this whole corner was missing. And uh, I had a couple of black pieces of plastic. I still have a little bit. And I made the, the uh, foot for the corners. And then went back and filled this all in um, with cut strips of styrene. And uh, it's uh, three thicknesses thick. It took, of this particular styrene that I have, three layers in order to rebuild this. And then I, once I got this built, then I framed it to match the molded framing. Then I braced it. Now I didn't have, <clears throat> if I'd have had <clears throat> some uh, styrene um, actually the equivalent of a uh, in life a, a two by two uh, styrene two by two uh, or um, one of the other strips of styrene. I would have used that to brace it, but I didn't. So I took a wooden popsicle stick and I, I use wood popsicle sticks a lot, guys, for different things, especially in rebuilds as to structures. And um, 
I braced it with a, the wood popsicle stick. Now you notice here, they did the same thing. That's what they did. You, know, you can see it not. There's a brace that goes across right here. Right there. Of course, it was molded in. <clears throat> so I have the, this brace. And don't let anybody fool you, despite what people say, plastic will uh, glue to wood if you use the proper glue. And it won't come off unless it's actually snatched off or broken off, pried off. Just won't come apart. Now, <clears throat> Maybe grease oil over a period of time will loosen it. Uh, water, maybe even for a long period of time, might loosen it. I'm talking long period of time, not something you just set overnight in water. But that's not normally going to happen, right? So it's good. But anyway, I rebuilt this, and I had to do this corner also. This corner was broken off, but I still had it. And it was from here. To here. that it was broken. Just the corner. Itself. <clears throat> so I glued this back on, and then I put a a top support brace on it right there. Now, I don't usually do this on the top side. I usually, whatever work I'm going to do, I usually do it from the bottom and try to keep everything as neat as I can. <clears throat> this, in this case, uh, the best place to support it because of the natural support that was here, which was also broken. Um, this was the best place to support it. Now over here, I could have used a toothpick or I could have used a metal rod, but I found the wood to be more effective, especially this flat piece of wood like this because it covers a wider area. Here, instead, I just used one piece of plastic right there on the corner. This is the stress area. And then once this is uh, sanded down and painted over, I'll do the same with this side. I'm going to paint it black. Once that's done, you'll never even really know this is here. And when you do notice it, it's just another place you can put something. Put a tree coming up by the platform, a fire hydrant. You put a man standing there or a squirrel. You can do many things with this little area. It'd be like almost like a little platform, a flat platform area. Okay. So, I'm letting this dry, and I'm probably going to let it stand overnight before I do anything else to it. I did want to uh, go ahead and uh, solder this on, so I may hook the soldering iron up and see if we can't get this done. But as far as the rebuild is concerned, uh, the rebuild is completed. Looks pretty good.
Now, I couldn't get these two feet shaped exactly like the natural one. But I got close. And after I got them glued in place, I realized that I made made them just a little bit shorter than the originals. But you can't really notice it that much. I think I'm going to have to ground this one down right here. Or file it down. So it's got a little curve in it right there. It's a little smoother. This sits up. So, not perfect. But it'd be close enough. And after all, we're not trying to counterfeit it or fool anybody with it. We're just trying to bring it back to a serviceable condition and make it look as good as we possibly can. So I'm going to set this back over here out of the way. place where it's not there we go sitting unevenly yeah. all right now uh, we're just gonna let that sit there for a few minutes uh, I'm gonna plug up the soldering iron some more plastic Hope you guys had a good day today or are having a good day today. Or should I say this evening? It's been kind of cold here today. Um, not as cold as, well, yeah, a little colder than yesterday. Um, I think the high today was like 40, 45 or something like that. But right now, it's sliding the other way. It's supposed to be around 37 uh, degrees around 8 o'clock. I think the low tonight is going to be uh, 27 So it's kind of cold, not as cold as those of you who have 12, 27, 26, 16 below, or even 16 degrees is cold enough, one, zero, been there, done that, used to like it, no more. Well, that's warming up. I 
let me say without a doubt <laughs> on that, I, I don't really like the heat either. So <laughs> I like really moderate conditions and I prefer cold uh, to hot, just not freezing. You'll solder out there. Okay. I won't take that gun long to heat up. But while it's heating up, I'm going to show you another project. I have another tower. This is the uh, American Flyer oil derrick. And don't be fooled by this. This is not the uh, tube for the oil derrick. I stuck this in there. This is what I use. I was measuring and putting together, see what, how I wanted to do it this time. This is what I use when I don't have um, a tube. And you can do this. It doesn't hurt anything. It looks good and it works. And uh, until you get a tube later on, if you want to spend the... 20, 25 bucks nowadays um, that it costs to buy a tube from one of these. Now, usually, once again, all a lot of these stanchions and part of the framework is broken. The ladder is usually missing, um, but it has the ladder and it's complete. It's not broken. It's not missing any rounds. There are no stanchions and no part of the framework. Uh, missing. Uh, it is cracked right here. And I'm going to repair that. It's a simple repair. Um, and it's missing a piece in the railing. And once again, a uh, simple repair. And we're going to repair that. Now, usually the thickness of these railings and so forth and so on. I usually have strips, uh, plastic strips, and uh, I'm out of plastic strips. All I have now is my flat sheets. And um, so I'm not going to be able to, to replace it with the uh, strips on tonight. But here it is. It's dirty, uh, filthy, as a matter of fact. So before I actually work on this, I'm going to clean it up. I haven't cleaned it up yet. I just got it. I looked at it and grabbed my straws. Now, these are straws. These are regular old straws you get every time you buy a drink. And, you know, they come in multiple colors. They come in clear, white, red, orange. Uh, I've even seen pink straws. Um, and then, of course, the striped straws. I like these, um, and I like the clear ones, best of all. Now, these are nice, too. And what these do is it adds color to uh, the layout. Now, this one's been cut off of several times, and... I got a smaller straw down on the inside of it. But this one's been cut off several times. And uh, it's not going to be long enough for what I want to do with it. And But that's not really a problem. But I'm going to slide it down in there and just show you. Now, these are recessed. The base is recessed in the center uh, to accept the tube. The straw fits down in there perfectly. Push it down in there real snug. 
gets tight. And there you have it. You put your light down in the bottom, which uh, I may change this to an LED. Um, as if I don't have the tube, I'm not needing that amount of heat from that bulb. Um, it was it was a nice invention. It, it was the way it was made. Uh, they had oil, uh, an oil mixture in uh, the tube. And um, once this bulb got hot, the tube got hot. And once the tube got hot, hot it would begin to bubble. And that's why you would see the bubbling oil in the tube. Well, if you use a colored straw, you can still use a clear bulb down here. And uh, you don't need all that heat. So, um, and the heat, although the straw doesn't fit down to where direct heat from the bulb gets to it, the bulb is close enough to the base that uh, it could damage the straw over a period of time. Well, so what? You just go get another straw. Yeah, but why um, melt your straw and or run the risk of it getting hot enough to damage anything? Um, so just for safety's sake and the fact that I've got green bulbs, I've got orange bulbs, uh, LEDs, and so I can just put a orange red uh, LED in. I really like the light orange. Uh, it's what I used in that engine that I just finished. Um, and uh, it'll throw the light up through. Now I can use a clear one, as I was saying earlier, and it would still throw the light up through. And because this is uh, the color that it is, once it lights up, it's just really pretty. And you really don't notice that it's not bubbled. That's what I like about it. Now on the top side of it, you can see it doesn't go all the way to the top. So once again, like I say, these are just straws. Some straws fit inside other straws. That's another thing I like about it because you can do multiple things with them. the top if it's going to do it for me it may not some of these orange straws uh, or the red straws are bigger around than the clear straws that's not the case with this one. This clear straw is the same size, so it doesn't fit. But what I was going to do was stick the clear straw down inside the orange straw. We'll use the white one. Just to show you what you can do. Uh, straw is all boogered up at the top. That's what the problem is. There we go. Now I'm going to have to hold this one because it's really small. And we'll drop down in there. But you can come up with the white straw at the top. Like that. And you're still using the orange light or the clear light down below. So when it comes up, there's a change in the light, in the lighting. Whoops. Oh, well. Simple fix.
or like I say, you can use um, just a clear straw or a clear straw and then mix the straws. It doesn't matter. It's what you like. And what will give someone uh, a viewing experience or a viewing pleasure. It's all about just enjoying it and having fun. This straw is trying to now be obnoxious. And that's what happens when your straw is too short and you let one go. Another thing is, too, if you put two straws together uh, and you want to make sure they stay in place or you're just lengthening one straw with the other straw and you want them permanent or semi-permanent, uh, joined together, you just put a little glue around the end of the straw and stick it in. And it'll stay right there uh, where you want it with the other straw. And you don't have to glue these in place. Sometimes I'll put a little glue uh, around the straw where it goes through the base and uh, works great. I'd advise you not to use a tester's glue or uh, a modeling glue uh, at that point, any acetyl glue, because it will melt into the, unless you're planning on it being a permanent thing and you wanna go back in and clean it out if you should replace the tube. Um, yeah, it's extra work. But you can use Elmer's glue. And of course, it'll dry, it'll dry hard, and it'll be a permanent fix until you want it to come out. And then you just get you a little alcohol or a little warm water. I normally don't take this much time fooling with these guys. All right, here we go. So, there it is. So we'll get back to this one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, iron should be hot now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, solder that light on and uh, the wire on and uh, <clears throat> we'll take a stick of bulb in it we'll try it and see if it works and then we'll let this project sit over the night i'll come back with a part two and in part two uh, we'll briefly uh, finish that one up and start to work on this one right now let's get the soldering done Okay, I stripped the wire Twist it up some there And I'm going to tin the end of it. Yep. 
if we can. A lot of times the old wire is stubborn. Uh, it's got a little corrosion on it or whatever. Sometimes with the heavier wire, I'll take and put, there we go. I'll take and put, uh, use a piece of sandpaper and um, clean it first. Okay, we're going to take the wire right here and there's a, a hole. I know you can't see it, but it's where a um, where marks the manufacturer has used a tab and uh, he's put that through a hole to hold the base of the light on. And so then they ran the wire up through it. And the wire needs to make contact with the back. It doesn't want to do what it needs to do naturally. So what we're going to do is Grab the trusty file out. Okay, finally. Sorry I'm having so much trouble with the soldering iron. didn't want to do what it does okay let's put a bulb or two in it and see what happens okay somebody once told me said uh, you get you a piece of masking tape my fingers are so big and some of these small areas just really hard uh, for me to get hold of. So I do what that person suggests. Take a piece of masking tape, put it on the bulb. Turn it. Bulb goes in. I'm going to put one. This one's in the light we just repaired. I'm going to put one in one of these lights down here. Not kidding you guys, it makes a big difference. I don't think I've got that one tight. There it goes.
Been a while since he's just had bulbs in him. Corroded in there a little bit. Didn't look that bad, but. Okay. There we go. Make sure that one's in tight. Get my trusty cables up. Make sure I plug this soldering iron. And for all purposes. Instead of taking it over to the track, we'll bring my little trusty HO power pack, which is DC voltage. And yes. AC bulbs will light on DC voltage, contrary to what people think or may think or don't know. It will work if it works at all. We shall see. If not, that's something else I'm going to have to spend a little time troubleshooting and repair. Lights, camera. No action. Which means more than likely we're not getting juice somewhere. Guys, I think they're just so dirty. You can't see it, but 
we have continuity. Try to get it into the light here. We have continuity, so um, it's not. See that to test lights lighting up. Well, when I touch it right, yeah, there we go. So we have continuity into it and up to uh, the light housings. Those are brand new bulbs. So I would imagine the sockets themselves are really dirty. Now we're not getting anything. So it's coming in. There it goes. So what we have is dirty sockets. See, it's grounded. Sockets hot. There we go. Bulb's trying to light up now. So I'm going to have to play around with it. The bulb was just trying to light up a minute ago. Whether you can see it or not. Let's me know we got a it's just a continuity problem. We can get that fixed. 
This one will probably do the same thing once I get it. So they're wired in series sequence. They're wired in series sequence, so you got to have both bulbs in the same side in order for it to work. One serves as ground, uh, the other serves as power. Kind of like a fuse. One won't work unless the other one's grounded. So there it is. This is getting really stiff and hard around the foot here, the pedestal. Nice. So uh, I've had these before, like I said, they've always been broken. Uh, I've always repaired them and um, sometimes they've been so broken up with this top part that I just scrap them out <clears throat> and I'll use these lights uh, for other purposes um, like even uh, in the uh, old pre-war engines um, the box cabs electrics um, they have uh, similar light uh, about the same exact size in most of them and you can take these and use those to replace your light sockets in them so uh, anyway guys I've ran way over from what I plan to do uh, tonight uh, and I apologize for that you guys have a blessed night um, We'll see you in the next video. Uh, as I say, we'll pick up with part two of this video. We'll finish this one and start to work on the other one. That one won't take near as long. All right. God bless. Remember, Jesus Christ is love. Bye for now and happy rails. Until next time.